Wednesday morning, Picayune Wednesday. You know what that means. Daniel Clifton, the editor of the Picayune, is in our studio. Good morning, Daniel. Good morning. How y'all doing today? Good morning. We're good. You ready for the holidays? Yes. How about y'all? Uh, no. no. Okay. <laughs> I can already taste the turkey and dressing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right around the corner of Thanksgiving. And this week's edition of the Picky U2, which is available all over the Highland Lakes, uh, it's uh, got some stuff about the holidays. Kicking it off, let's talk about the walkway of lights and the big parade that they're doing in Marble Falls. Well, this is the biggest, this is a big thing right now. It's the walkway of lights every year draws in thousands of people. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think the numbers were over 40,000 last year, and yeah. there was like seven or eight days of rain. So yes. that number was kind of dropped. And, and most of those people, 30,000 plus, I think, come from outside the Highland Lakes mm-hmm. area. So it's a big and draw. And outside of the U.S. in a lot of cases, too. A lot of international uh, visitors. Yeah, people from Oklahoma. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're aliens. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but they're here for the walkway of lights. And, of course, the big parade is going on just prior to that. Yeah, and it starts on 6 o'clock mm-hmm. on Friday. Mm-hmm. And they'll have a parade. And they'll take you start at one side. And they take you down towards the Main Street or do a circle. I forgot the route was this year. It they starts changed it up a bit, Everybody lines they? up in Johnson, Johnson Park, Park. And okay. then we go up Main Street and then back around. And then it ends at Lakeside Park Pavilion for the official, official lighting, lighting and of the walkway. Folks gather down there. And they flip a switch, and this year, I think it's pretty impressive that the really neat is the Grand Marshal is Ralph Hendricks, yes. the former city manager. Yeah, that is. That I'm bike so accident. So happy that he's oh, going to be out and about. That's, yeah, that's awesome. Right. And also want to remind everybody that if you're going to the parade, they say bring a new unwrapped toy mm-hmm. too at the end of uh, yeah. The, um, the parade. Uh, Marble Falls Police have a Blue Santa Operation Blue Santa going on. Mm-hmm. They'll have a, I think the patrol cars there. Yep. And you call donate a. a, a I think the I think the rule was that you donate a toy. And you don't get a taser. <laughs> yeah, I think that's right. I think that's right. No, just kidding. They won't do that. <laughs> but bring a toy and donate, and it goes to Highland Lakes Christmases for kids and help mm-hmm. those kids out. It's that time of the year, and it's also that time of year for playoff football. And the Burnett Bulldogs, of course, which uh, you can hear the games here on K-Bay, uh, they're going to the second round on Friday night against uh, Kingsville, and you've got a story about that in the paper. Yeah, Jennifer Fierro's on top of the situation, as always, <laughs> trying to keep her you know, occupied. So we send her the football games and basketball games, but she went... She She'll be going down there to San Antonio. They're playing the Kingsville King on Friday night. Mm-hmm. So those of you who do not want to go to the Walkway of Lights or can't make the Walkway of Lights, hey, a little road trip to San Antonio is not yeah. bad to go, you know, or cheer on the Bulldogs. Best of both worlds, you download the free app on oh. kbfm.com, and then you could go to the, the Walkway and, and then listen, listen to, to the it. game. That's like right. The app. It's all right there. It's a good idea. covered live, yeah, because <laughs> Chad and... Mark will be down there covering it for K- for us, K-Bay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, go dogs. Game. Get them yeah. big time on Friday night. Read all about it in this week's edition of the Picayune. And speaking of football, y'all got an interesting story in this week's edition that I, I just briefly ran over, uh, read over. So y'all, you're going to have to give me all the details. But there's something going on about uh, changing the divisions around? Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, the superintendents can vote on this. What it does is right now, like Marble Falls is a 5A division, mm-hmm. but they end up playing a lot of the teams in like the Leander ISD, which have twice the student population almost. Mm-hmm. And so it's so what this does is what it does, and, and what happens then usually when you make the playoffs, they take two teams to a large division, two teams to a smaller division based on your student population. Right. Mm-hmm. What this would do if they do it would start that division, they'd break it up before you start district. So Marble Falls would end up in a district that would be more comparable in student population numbers. Yeah. Now Burnett, the 4A divisions did this last year, so Burnett, Milano, Liberty Hill, uh, Lampasas is in them, fall into that situation. So what that meant was Lano got to stay in divisions where they'll play teams comparable to their size, uh-huh. and Burnett stayed into that division. So it kind of evens what, we're, what we believe and hope it equalizes that playing yeah. field for the kids who, you know, if you're playing, a, you know, Lano was playing, you know, 400 kids in their school, and they're playing teams where they have – a thousand almost. Right. Mm-hmm. So they got a lot more kids to draw on. Those bigger schools have a huge student population mm-hmm. to draw on, or they have more athletes. Yeah. And kind of. You know, so this will helps. help kind of level the playing field. That's what so we, that's, you hope. Now, yeah. does that mean they're going to change divisions, or are they just kind no. of redistricting? <laughs> you know, well, divisions? it won't take effect this year. They have to vote. The ah. superintendents have to vote on it. It did for Leanne, for um, for four A Lano and, right. and Burn. It this this was their first year to do it, and the coaches seem pretty happy with it. The superintendents seem happy with it. Yeah. So they're excited. Okay. Um, 
We'll read all about that in this week's yeah. edition of the Pick You and get all the details on that. It's available. It's open. Uh, well, it's coming out today. Every Wednesday, it's available all over the Highland Lakes area on your doorsteps. But if you're not getting your copy, tell them to ho- how to do that, uh, Daniel. Well, you call the office at 830-693-7152 and ask the ladies up front to put you on the list. And remember, as always, the Picayune is free. free. Daniel Clefton, thank you, buddy. See you next You're week. Welcome.